Hello guys, welcome back to DC Lagoon, episode number 6, Part of Rico's Nano Chops for 2018, and I want to introduce you guys to one of my prized fish, an impulse by the Blue Spot Jawfish. Now this fish is beautiful in every way, and I just had to grab it, but let me tell you why I had to grab it, because it was right there at the LFS, that's why. <laughs> This fish was at one of my LFS that I go to frequently. I usually go there to buy um, small corals, like frags. They have a lot of nice frags. I usually try to um, go to one place to buy fish, but this was a rare exception because, you know, it was an impulse buy, first of all, and it was in a separate system, so it was like in their display nano tank. So I, I said, you know, why not? Let's go for it. Um, get, God gave me a great price, and I just couldn't resist. So this was not on the list for getting um, for this lagoon. Actually, I had another fish in mind, but he kind of took precedence over me. And, hey, I'm guilty of impulse buys also. You know, I'm not perfect. So I should have did my research. And um, I know something about the fish, but um, I wasn't sure of, you know, tank um, requirements like does it need a 50 gallon 100 gallon you know etc so I just went ahead pulled the trigger and got it so the guys don't kill me in the comment section but I had to have this fish so anyway but I did know this fish was a jumper um, and the LFS owner told me that this fish jumps and at the time I didn't have a screen top so I ended up buying this fish and a screen top at the same time so which is good because I have Yasha Gobies, which like to jump, and um, I don't want any fish fries on my on my watch. So here you see the guy. Um, this jawfish is made itself a little home right in front of the tank, which worked out perfectly. Um, and I like how you just keep peeking out of each side, looking to see if you know um, there's food coming, or you know just just on the lookout. He's, he reminds me of like a um, like a soldier or something, like in a bunker. And he's kind of like hiding out like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to jump out and attack at any time. So he's pretty cool at doing that. He provides a lot of entertainment. He very, has a very personality to him. And, and the color is just amazing. So this fish is not an open swimmer. Um, he's more like a, just a burrow in the bunker type fish um he comes out when it's time to eat but for, for the most part most jawfish kind of dwells towards the bottom and you know hold down that bunker we're gonna use bunker for this thing so um yeah i'm loving this fish actually um So as you see, the Yasha Gobi was kind of like staring this jawfish down. Now this is the male Yasha Gobi, and I could not understand why the Yasha Gobi wanted beef with the jawfish. I mean, he's like three times, four times his size. Um, his it seemed like he can actually eat him, like swallow him. So this kind of got me thinking about me and that chicken Joey Vera staring each other down and of course I'm the jawfish and Joey who? Joey Vera that's that's the that's the Yasha Gobi. Like you you want these problems Joey you want these paws? So Joey accepted and and he's catching these paws in the Rico Nano Challenge. But back to this this kinda had me nervous guys. I mean I wanted nature to kinda play itself out but I love both of these fish. And I didn't want any harm to come upon either one. So I thought about putting the net in there or putting the turkey base and kind of like, you know, breaking it up. But I said, you know what, I'm going to roll with it and let them kind of duke it out. Let's see if they can establish, you know, dominance. So the Yasha Gobi, which is a male, did not take no for an answer. And they got the strapping in there. It got real. You seen uh, sand flying fins flying um it just 
it made me nervous, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I was filming and like, oh my god, somebody's about to get hurt really bad. And of course, it had to be in my lagoon. So, I'm. I, was, I kept filming, and I didn't. You know, I didn't waver. I said, you know, I'm gonna let let them duke it out, and we're just gonna see how it goes. So the Yasha Gobi came out, you know, swimming around like, yeah, I can handle this, no problem. You know, I guess he's taking a break because they, they got the strapping down there. And he was like, you know, this guy, this guy got it right now. He got round one, but I'll be back again. I'll be talking again. But, yeah, so I just, I left it alone. You know, I kind of sat back. And just to see how they was gonna, you know, work it out. The tank is not so big, but the Yasha Gobi does like, um, like little barrels, just like the jawfish. Um, usually Yasha Gobi's pair up with um, pistol shrimps. So, yeah. So guys, I don't know. Uh, as this develops, I'll keep you guys posted. Right now, the Yasha Gobi is sharing the same barrel as the jawfish. And as you can see, the jawfish is very capable of swallowing <laughs> the Yasha Gobi, man. It's just crazy to me that this Yasha Gobi is, it got so much heart, you know. So this kind of gave me a more appreciation for Yasha Gobi's, how tough they are. So, um, Joey Vera, you know, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some props. Since you the Yasha Gobi in this case, you stood up to me, you holding your own. So I see you over there working your lagoon and you just keep on reefing, bro. And me the jawfish, I'm going to, I'm going to hold it down. I'm gonna get you out of this burrow one way or another. So, <laughs> hey, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you like more, hit the like, like button. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm dropping videos, guys, weekly and you don't want to miss it out. So thank you again for tuning in to this episode of the Lisa Lagoon. And you guys take care and happy reading. <laughs>